Look, I'm born in Bermuda, I uh, grew up in Australia, so my, I moved to Australia as a young, at, at 10 years old. Um, took up basketball at about 13 years old and uh, I had a chance to uh, play for a national team in Australia and that got me uh, looked at by colleges here in the U.S. And so I uh, came to the U.S., played my high school basketball in Louisiana um, and got recruited to play at the University of Syracuse where I was a member of the 1996 National, uh, national Championship runner-up team. So um, played in college for four years, uh, went on to play in Australia and Europe, and then uh, met my lovely wife in college named Cassie uh, Patrick, uh, married her at a young age at 21. And, uh, you know, we have two kids in Bailey and Madison um, and got into coaching in about 2005. And so um, I've kind of been a global, a global uh, person, um, been around the country in terms of basketball, and it's kind of got me to the place I'm in now. First of all, the city. You know, I've, I've been fortunate to live in NorCal before um, and, and was familiar with Sacramento. And so I always thought Sacramento State could be a great school just because of the location of the city. I think it's a melting pot, uh, something I'm used to. Um, and so obviously when Mark Orr came, uh, my conversation with him and then my, my conversation with President Nelson, it was like a no-brainer for me to come here. The diversity here is, is huge for me. Uh, the weather's fantastic. You have, you have great, obviously, hot summers and, and good winters. Um, and I think, you know, just, just everything around the city, when you have a, when you have a diverse, di diverse people, it's the food, it's, it's the way people live. Uh, it, it's what makes me intrigued to this place. Look, I got into coaching because coaches influenced my life. As a young man, uh, they di directed me when I was a young man as a high school player and as a college student. Uh, so when I had an opportunity to lead young, young men, uh, coaching was the best position for me. It start, obviously it starts with high character for me. Obviously there's a lot of talented kids in this world, uh, but character I think is what separates the good from the great. Whether they got great work ethic, whether they're good students or, or at least work in the classroom, I think that gives you a chance to be a great player. And so it starts with character for me, and then obviously toughness, I think if you're tough, um, and you apply yourself to your schoolwork, if you apply yourself on the floor, I think good, th good things can happen. Look, I think you're, you're gonna see a team that's gritty. I think we're gonna be compete to be the toughest team, not only in the Big Sky, but in the country. And, and you'll see that just my track record of where I've been and how my teams have played. We're gonna play with a toughness. First of all, on the defensive end of the floor, and that leads to offense. And so uh, th there's gonna be a toughness among this group, uh, and we're gonna play with pace on the offensive end of the floor. Look, my biggest influence is probably Randy Bennett up the street there at St. Mary's. You know, he, he was my foundation as a coach. Um, took a lot from him from the, on the offensive side of the ball and also just running culture, you know, learning how to build a program um, from the inside out and, and let it and have it sustained. Uh, I learned a lot uh, of my time with Coach Moser this year at, with Porter Moser, just learning about culture and how to put that in everyday practices on, on the floor. Um, my working for Johnny Jones at LSU, he taught me about relationships and recruiting and how important it is to touch that every day, uh, not just when you need a player, but to, to be able to reach out to, to people in your life that can help you uh, with players along the way. And then Jamie Dixon at TCU just taught me about the grit, the toughness, the rebounding that you need night in, night out. And then obviously Eric Musselman over at Arkansas, you know, he's, a, he's got energy, passion, uh, and something I took away from him in my year with him at Arkansas. Look, I played at a high level, played at Syracuse, played at Louisiana Lafayette, um, and took, was able to go play overseas and, and play for money. And uh, I think that's helped me in terms of being a coach, because I've, I've been in that, in that seat as a college athlete and as a professional. And then injury hit me. And so to, talk, to be able to be a coach and talk about being injured, and it, it helps you, um, you know, in the position that I'm in. The most important aspect of being a head coach is relationships. And it starts with how do you relate to your players and not so much how they relate to you, but you got to get to know them inside and out. And it's not just about basketball. It's where they're from. It's where their families are from. So you get to really, once you get that, you can coach them hard, you know, and there has to be a trust level. And the trust is a, is a two-way street. It's not just they have to trust me. I have to trust them as well. And so that's earned over time. And that'll be my goal here at Sac State to do that with my student athletes. I guess the fun fact about me is as much as I love basketball, I love tennis. Believe it or not, that's my, that's my passion away from the floor, just, just, just as a hobby. And I also like Australian rules football. It's uh, something unique, but something that gets me away 
uh, when I'm not watching hoops. And so they're probably two good fun, fun facts about me. This is David Patrick, Stingers Up. <laughs>